One of the things that you see in chemistry and chemistry students get to observe very early in the process is the action of acid-base indicators. And phenolphthalein is maybe one of the most common indicators we work with. Uh, it is well known by most students to be pink in a base and colorless in an acid. Uh, here what we want to do is take a look at something that's a little bit of a discrepant event uh, and add something more to what they know about phenolphthalein and how it behaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small amount of sodium hydroxide and put it in this test tube that I've labeled with a B for um, base. And um, I'm going to take a small amount of hydrochloric acid, which I've labeled with an A for acid. And for no particular reason, I'm going to put a little bit of water in the middle and label it W. I guess I could call it a control. It's not necessary, but I'll leave it there just for fun. And now I'm going to place a little phenolphthalein, a few drops in each of the containers. And when I put the phenolphthalein in the acid, you can see that, well, actually, something kind of interesting happens. Can you see that cloudiness? Let me put another drop or two in there. This is kind of an interesting phenomenon in itself, and your students may see this when they put phenolphthalein in, a, in water or in an acid solution or in any solution they're working with, for that matter. It gets a little bit cloudy. The phenolphthalein itself is an alcohol solution. Phenolphthalein has a limited solubility in water, and so when I drop it down into the water and hydrochloric acid solution, the phenolphthalein precipitates out because the solubility changes a little bit, and so I get a little bit of that white or cloudiness in there. This is actually a pretty good uh, solution of phenolphthalein. Sometimes when it's real cheap and there's not much phenolphthalein there, uh, you won't get that cloudiness. But the cloudiness that's produced there is because there's a change in solubility. Phenolphthalein is much less soluble in water than it is in alcohol, and the, this is an alcohol solution. Okay, so now I'm going to drop it in the water, and we should see that same cloudiness appearing, but no appreciable color change. And then a few drops of phenolphthalein into the base. And as you can see, we get a nice pink to almost red color. The more you put in, the darker the color that's there. Now, that's kind of neat. And this in itself is really cool. And I never cease to be excited by seeing phenolphthalein go into base. It's a pink color. That's really neat. It's a color change. Probably my favorite story about phenolphthalein turning pink in a base is to, to mention a, a gentleman that taught at Princeton named Hubert Allier. He probably put phenolphthalein into a base a million times in his life. I saw him do it maybe 25 or 30 times in my career, seeing him at demonstrations. Every time he put phenolphthalein in a base, I would swear to you it was the first time he had ever done it. And he'd, wow, that's really cool. For you as teachers, the same kind of thing is a, should be there. You want to get that excitement across to your students. Every time you put phenolphthalein in a base, look at that. Isn't that interesting? They're going to be excited if you're excited. So jump in and say, wow. Look at that. But now I want to go a little bit farther with this. And I want to try something else. I want to ask another question. I want to say, what's going to happen if I put more base in there? Because that's what my students want to see. What's going to happen if you put more in? It looks really cool when it's like this. How about if I put some more in? Let's make it darker. Let's make it bigger. So I'm going to take the next step up and put sodium hydroxide solid in. I'm going to really make it bigger. We're going to go beyond, and I'm just going to shake in a few pellets or so. The amount's not real critical past three or four. And now I'm going to stir it a bit. This will take a little bit of time, but I want you to take a look at this. Give it a few seconds here, and we'll swirl it around. Uh, 
know if you can tell or not, but it's starting to work. What's happening to that pink color? Is it getting darker? In fact, phenolphthalein in a really strong base is colorless. Pink color disappears. The chemistry behind this, and we're going to walk over here to the board just briefly. Chemistry behind this, the middle structure is the pink color for phenolphthalein. When you add a base, I'm, yeah, the middle structure is the, pink, is the pink color, pardon me. The middle structure is the pink color for phenolphthalein. The two structures on either side are colorless. If you add more base, kicks it over to this third structure, which is also colorless. If you add a base to phenolphthalein in the colorless form, you end up with a pink color. So it's only in the middle where it's pink on either side. It's colorless. So there are two different colorless structures for phenolphthalein, and only one that's got the pink or red color. The, the next and most, and I'm not sure I can pull this off, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, the next most bizarre thing to do with this is, OK, phenolphthalein turns pink when you add it to a base. It turns colorless when you add it to an acid. So if I come back and want to set up a really discrepant event, suppose I come back and put a little bit of acid in with my phenolphthalein. Let's see what happens here. Now I'm going to dump hydrochloric acid into this thing and phenolphthalein in the system. And I neutralize the base, and it turns pink again. Now if I was really good at this, I could probably get it to be perfect. But that's not too bad. But you saw the pink color. Add acid to the base with phenolphthalein in it, and the system turns pink. That's a discrepant event for your students. If you want to set this up as a really bizarre scam at some point in time where you want to go, oh, well, I know what's going on there. Well, maybe not. Or it's just this one may still swirl around, and the color might go away, but we're not going to, I'm not going to play around with that. OK, that's is phenolphthalein pink in a base? Well, it depends on how much base you have. Thank you.